class a to z he also has a book coming out but we'll get to that we'll get to that dropping nuggets um we have a question right out the gate um so i'm gonna take this question and i throw it to you so how do you choose an atm location great question shanique great great question how do you choose an atm location okay so the number one way you choose an atm is you got to solve a problem so i'm gonna i'm gonna go back a little here in the story and I'm going to go, I'm going to not give a highlight reel, as my friend would say. I'm going to give you a long story. So here is my story and how it relates to this particular situation. I was in the music and games business, which meant I put jukeboxes, pool tables, pinballs in bars and restaurants. Is what where I started out in the game. And I would go to this location once a week and I would collect them equipment. And what would happen is um, when I was there, the owner, he was opening up his mail. And he was yelling at his mail. He's, I'm tired of this. And you're screaming. And his name was Patty. And I said, Patty, what are you, why are you screaming at your mail? It doesn't make any sense. And he would say, <laughs> he would say, it happens to me every week, Phil, and I'm tired of it. And I said, well, what happens? He said, well, and this was 20 years ago. So remember this way back in the, in the day, he said, people come into my bar and restaurant and they're a little short on their, on their, on their money. So what they do, to, they do is they say, can I borrow $50, $100 to payday? And then I could use it to have some food, have some cocktails. And he said, no problem. You know what? Write me a $50 check and then I'll hold it. And then you just tell me when to put it in. I'll put it in and then we'll be square. He said, all right. So just hold it for a week. So they write him a $50 check. He would hold it a little more than a week and he put it in. And not everybody, but a few people, it would bounce. So he would Ooh. call them up. Hey, you know, your check bounce, can you, you know, what, what should I do? They wouldn't answer the phone. So he knows some of their friends. They hangs out. He would say, Hey, you know, get a rid of, get a hold of Joe. He owes me a little money. Can we square up? And they would say, you know what? I don't know. Joe won't answer my calls. So then he would take the check. He put it on the back of the bar to embarrass him a little, to get their attention and to say, Hey, I saw your name up on the back of the bar. And what would happen is they still wouldn't come out. He said, so Phil, here's what the problem is. I'm bouncing checks at the bank. They owe me the money and I'm losing a customer and I'm just tired of this. And I said, wait a minute, I got an idea. I said, what if I can eliminate, keep your customer, not, you don't have to bounce checks and you don't lose money. He said, how much is that program going to cost me? If I can do that, I'm all in. And I said, I'll tell you what, it's not going to cost you anything. What we're going to do, we'll put an ATM in your place. The customer can go now get money out of the ATM if they got it. And mm. now you don't have to cash checks. He says, oh, I love it. I said, and I'll pay you. He goes, keep your money. I don't even want it. I just don't want to take checks anymore. So this was back in the day when we didn't, you know, people were writing checks. But right. what happened is now we solved the problem. And to answer your problem, the question is, you got to solve a problem. So it doesn't make sense if you're just going to put an ATM, let's say, in a tire shop. You have to put an ATM in a place where it solves a problem. They need a cash. They need a cash solution. Maybe it's a cash-only restaurant, or it's a fast food place that's cash-only. Maybe it's a, a laundromat that you know what you have to you have to get money in order to go to the changer and get change to put in a, into the laundry um, the laundry machines. So you have to solve a problem. If we solve a problem, now it makes sense to put an ATM into that business. Absolutely, absolutely. Right? I, I, and Shani, great question, Mr. Phil. That's a powerful answer because I don't think anyone in the industry even considers it in that light. You have to solve a, a problem. You can. I've seen ATMs just in my regular commute in the, in the weirdest places, right? Right in the vape shops, in in the tattoo parlors, and and just um, a junkyard. I saw an ATM in a junkyard, and it was a very strange. You know, you wouldn't think to look there. So mm -hmm. I can't imagine how busy those those machines are or how not busy they are because you it, you know you you didn't solve a a, a equation you didn't solve a and problem there, for them there are so many people that i i you know on the on youtube or i listen through in the in the in the groups and what happens is they get into the game and then they're not making money because they put an atm in a place that isn't solving a problem so they put it into let's say a restaurant that takes credit cards and they're not and it's a, a high-end dining place and they don't make money or put it into a barber shop that the guy's taking venmo or or cash app or square or something and he's not he's like i don't know what happened uh it, i thought a barber shop would be good phil 
Well, it might have been if you had eight shares and they weren't taking anything but cash, that's a home run, but now it's not. So you just got to be conscious. You need a couple things in ATM business. You need a lot of traffic and you got to solve a problem, whatever that problem is.